As of that, this is GeoBlazable, and welcome to today's Watch Dogs tutorial on how to get close in Watch Dogs 2. So what you're going to want to do is as soon as you start the mission, first and foremost, you are going to go ahead and have a little tutorial you're going to have to play. But after you get done with the tutorial, you'll be presented at this area, and it's going to tell you to go pick up close. Now, how do you get close? It's very, very easy uh, to do so. You're going to go ahead, download the app called the Noodle Map, uh, and uh, the way you do that is go to the App Store, you go to where it says the maps, download the map app, and then once you have the map app, open up the map and you will see some convenience stores that allow you to go ahead and fast travel to them. So, we're going to fast travel to this one first, and uh, this is going to be a kind of like a little kiosk that we can travel to, and uh, we'll get over there. And uh, each different store has its own, uh, you know, different style. You're able to customize, match, you know, different styles from whatever way you want to look for. This, uh, to me, has been by the far one of the games that has the majority and vast majority of clothes, uh, you know, to pick from. So this one comes with hats. You're able to pick a variety hat. One cool thing I do like about this is that it gives you the ability to uh, see what the hat looks like once you go ahead and customize it. So. You have these in particular. So these are more chilled back clothes. You have some tops. As you guys see, there's not that much variety here uh, as opposed to the other shops we're going to be going to. But this is kind of just an overlook to see what you're able to pick up from uh, you know different aspects within the game. So there is what we have. And then we have the California one. We have the little sweater. And these are the ones we're able to pick from here. As you see, these are not that expensive. But right now that we try to go ahead and pull up our app store, Head to other shops, you'll be able to see um, see them as we portray our way over there. So, this is going to be, I believe this one right here is a restaurant. And uh, we're not going to be going to the restaurants right now, but we want to go to the uh, shops themselves. And that's a coffee shop. We're going to go here. Here's a clothing one. Okay. And let's go this way. Come on. Let me go. So, that's another kiosk. There's another one. This is a uh, clothing shop. And this is for like kind of like a more biker look. As you guys see right here, we zoom out. There's different shops that we're able to go through throughout the world. But we'll head to this one real quick. Zoom in here and uh, let's fast travel to that one. So if you want a more of a rugged biker look, then uh, this one's going to give you guys the ability to actually, you know, head, you know, have that biker look. And uh, you know, like I said, you can mix and match, mix and match whichever ones you guys like. All right, so here we are at the biker room. Let's go ahead and open the door right here. And uh, the way you actually access this one right here is you go to the kind of like a, uh, you know, where you try your on your clothes. And as you guys, th this shop is a little bit more sophisticated. As you see, there's different sets of stuff that you're able to do. So this is the tops you're able to get. So you want to, you know, you got that biker best. You got a more leaner best here. And, uh, you know, kind of you want to be rolling in style as a biker, then you're more than welcome to do so. And you have the type of vest right here. Now, like I said, this has a wide, a wide variety, guys, compared to any other game that I've seen. Maybe the only one that I could probably compare it to is probably GTA with the vast majority of uh, clothing you're able to get. You're also able to put on glasses if you want. You're also able to change your bag. As you see, he has a different bag here. See that right there? He has that, you know, biker bag. You're able to get biker hats as well. So if you want to get a whole like nice little set of beanie, you can, a skull beanie, a cap. A, uh, you know, American flag mini and all sorts of stuff. So really, really cool. This is really, really cool. And each time, you know, you're doing a certain activity, you're going to a certain area, you can definitely go ahead and hop on in here and uh, check them out. So you guys can get different sets of boots. You can actually even pick up your Harley Davidsons if you want and, you know, roll with style like that or your cowboy boots. And you guys should be fine and dandy to rock and roll with that. And here we go. And then you're also able to pick up bottoms with your pants that you're able to pick up. We're going to be picking up a couple pants. We'll be we'll be mixing, matching, coming back and forth to different shops and seeing you, know, you guys exactly what uh, kind of look we're going for when we play this game. So that's that one right here. Now let's go ahead and exit this shop real quick and head to the other shop. And let's go ahead and pull up our map here and head to the other shop. All right, so now here we are at Axel. Axel is a shop that gives you that kind of urban look, skater look. Uh, that we're looking for we're going to go ahead and check out what clothes we're able to purchase from here so you guys can get a a detailed look on the clothes so here we go we're going to start with tops we have a nice shirt we have also have this one right here we have a nice hoodie nice sweater right there and we also have a another hoodie right there that actually was pretty chill 
And as you guys see, we have different sorts of looks that we can go with when it comes to actually playing the game. So the it's limited on the way you want to make your character look and, uh, you know, kind of stuff that you, you're trying to go ahead and attain from him. So you're able to go ahead and pick up glasses. If you want to go ahead and pick up glasses, you're able to do so. And you're also able to go ahead and pick up a set of bags. If you want to change the bags you have right there. You're also whoops, sorry. You're also able to uh, switch different bags. You also are able to get different types of. This is more like a beanie look. Gives you that nice beanie look right there. The drop down, the drag down beanie. Got a more uh, plain beanie, and you keep getting different sorts of hats. Now, whenever you guys want, you can also click on wardrobe. Wardrobe gives you the ability to go ahead and check each individual store that you guys are able to go. So, for example, let's say you want to go check out this store or this store. You guys are more than welcome to check this one out. As you see right here. We have different sets and we could preview these right off the same, um, like within the same store. You guys are able to just go right here and uh, pick these up. You can get different sorts of bags, you get different sorts of bottoms if you like those. Or like if you want a mask, you know, you want to go ahead and cover yourself like that, boom, you guys are good to go. And you also got footwork uh, if you want to, footwear if you want to go ahead and do that. So that is what's available on this shop. On this shop, I don't know, I probably might pick up some sneakers. Um, like I said, I'll definitely go ahead and show you what my character will look like at the uh, tail end of this video. But right now, we're just overlooking each individual shop. Go ahead, pull up our phone, head over to our map, and let's go ahead and fast travel to the other store. All right, so now we're at the Willing Fim. The Willing Fim store is actually a store that's more, you know, more expensive store, more sophisticated. There's suits, tuxedos you're able to buy from here. And uh, let's go ahead and show you guys what type of wardrobe they have available for us at this store. We're probably going to be picking up from, something from this store as we progress here. As you guys said, you have a nice sunny day chestnut. And you also have uh, different types of sweaters and shirts you're able to pick up. You can go vest style. Uh, you can go with this one if you guys don't like that blue on gray. Or you can go with a more different type of look here. Or you can go with the slick back right here. I now, the, wonder if you're actually able to customize these and um let's see what this looks like okay so you have to actually hold and buy so let's see i don't know if i want to go with a more founder casual i think i think probably going to go with that i don't like the color on that i wonder if you're able to change the color and look on that um as you progress to the storyline so let's go ahead or you know it gives you an option to actually customize that so this one looks kind of chill um i don't know if i should go with this one i'm probably gonna go Hmm. I just don't like the color of these, to be honest. Uh, let's see. I don't want to wear a tie because you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be roaming the streets, so I want to you know look as chill as possible. So let's go ahead and uh, I wish that we had like a blue option. Let's go ahead and pick this one. This one this one looks cool. We'll, we'll go with this one. So this is four thousand dollars. So we were able to purchase this one up, and uh, now we have that equipped in our store. So if we ever go to a wardrobe, we ever need to go to the top or something like that, we're, we're able to switch that up. As far as glasses, I'm not going to, I don't know if I could uh, disable glasses, but as far as hats on this store, you're able to pick this uh, this little cap right here. As far as bags, you're able to get a more slick back cap right there. So it's kind of getting that nice Louis Vuitton look on, the, on, you know, on that one right there. We do need to pick up a pair of pants. So let's go ahead and uh, see what type of pants they have here that, you know, I don't know if I'm down with these Dockers. Nope, not taking those either. Now, you know what? We're actually going to go ahead and go ahead and not pick up uh, any pants from here. Uh, as far as footwork, uh, no. Nah, we're going to have to skip these right here. I'm probably going to go to another shop and actually purchase that. So, you see right now, on my wallet, I only have $4,000. I spent a lot on that vest. But let's go ahead and uh, head to another shop and see if maybe we can pick up a different pair of uh, pants on this one. So... Let's go ahead and work our way over here. All right, now we are at the plane stock, and uh, we're going to go here and let this lady open the door. Move out of the way, lady. Hey, move out the way. All right, don't, hurry up, man. Don't, don't make me punch you. I don't, I don't want to cuss a rocket. Get out of here. All right, so this is more this is more of a casual urban look style, and uh, we're going to head towards the fitting room and check this one out. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. And this is the plane stock, so we are able to actually get bottoms from here. We get some shorts if we want. We can get some jeans. We're probably going to go with some jeans. Uh, we can also get some tracking. Uh, these kind of give you guys a more of a jogger style. We could go with classic jean fresh blue. We could also go with a classic uh, glamour black. And we could go with a more of a classic jean here. 
Um, well, let's check out the hats and we're able to get a different set of hat if you guys want to add hats here. Alright, so as you guys see, these are a little bit more plain. They're not as expensive as the other ones, but it gives you guys a more of a plain look as opposed to the other ones that we were able to pick up. So this is definitely going to roll with style. Like I said, the majority of customization that you can use within the game. This, this I actually like this. I'm probably going to come and pick that one up a little bit later down the line. Uh, it gives you guys a nice different look, but with a cheaper price, not as expensive as the other store we went to. Uh, but it does give you a nice inline look at what you're able to purchase, uh, you know, with a lower price point. So definitely, definitely go ahead. Oh, I actually could like this one too. I'm probably going to pick this up after. And as far as bags are concerned, we have these right here. Right, a blue one, a red one. And as far as footwork, we have these. We can go with some loafers and uh, some Crocs, some sandals, some, you know, nice little suede there. It's right here. These are actually pretty nice. Might pick those up as well. And that about, uh, we got some hiker shoes if you want to go with hiker shoes and some sandals. And you also got these nice camel shoes right there. And different sorts of gear you're able to pick up. You got these uh, kind of American flag ones. Okay, those are still very similar to the ones I'm wearing. Those chucks right there. And uh, like I said, this, this store has a vast variety of different looks you could go with for your character. So definitely, definitely a really cool store to come and check out. Now let's go ahead and check out one more other store that we're able to pick up clothes from. Alright guys, so now we are at, uh, this is more of a urban look store. We're going to go in here and check you, and show you guys what this uh, store has in store for us. This is more of you want to go ahead and purchase kind of a more of an urban look. You're more welcome to do so. We have a nice cut down shirt right there. Got the, of course, always repping the American flag. And as you guys see right here, this is more towards the tail end of the city, towards Oakland. So you can go with a more urban look as opposed to a, uh, you know, the other places we visited, which have a more, uh, you know, contemporary look as opposed to this one. So this is more urban. Like I said, you're able to find a nice set of uh, form of shirts here that you're able to get here. And here we go. And that is what we have available as far as tops are concerned. And then you can also get the nice jersey right there. You can definitely pick up some glasses right here as well. If you like your glasses, you could also go ahead and pick up different sets of bags right there. And we can pick up different sets of hats. As you guys have, they have a wide, wide variety of hats that we're able to actually pick from. And, uh, you know, we can roll in style or roll without style. So we have it, fellas. That is, the, that is the hats that we have again. Like I said, if you guys want to pause and check something out, Throughout the video, you can always pause the video as we go through here. So we have shorts. If you guys want to go with more shorts, we have a nice set, of like kind of like little caprice. And we have a more linear uh, set of clothes. This was really cool. I'm actually probably going to be picking this one up when I have a little bit of uh, more money in my inventory. So we go here. And uh, let's see. These are the... Uh, Okay, so I'll probably pick these up later. I don't think that's going to match very well with my, my look at the current moment, but I'll come and pick that one up a little bit later. And then this one has a very interesting set of shoes. You're able to go with a more urban look, like I said, uh, you know, giving you nice uh, kicks right there. We have this. These are actually pretty cool. Probably going to come and pick these up as well uh, further down along the line. So you have a nice for array of uh, shoes that you're able to pick. I'm probably going to go with these right here. Uh, even though these are a thousand, I should have enough for a pair of pants if I go to another store. I hope I should have enough pair of pants. So let's go ahead and pick these up real quick and uh, acquire. All right, there we go. Those have been acquired. And now as we go progress to the store, we should we should go ahead and uh, go find another store, see what else we are able to obtain from our stores. So let's go ahead and hop on to the other store. This is more, more towards a... Um, Let's see, this is a clothing shop. This is a tourist kiosk. So this is kind of one of the cool things I like about these is each little kiosk that they have has a different sort of array of clothes for that specific area. So like, let, let's say I'm going to show you one that has the Alcatraz one. It, you're able to buy clothes like if you're, you know, in Arc you know, Alcatraz or something. So this, is the, uh, this kind of gives you a uh, fan base. Like, you know, you're representing a certain team that's part of the uh, Oakland right there. You guys are able to rep uh, with your different sets of gear, kind of giving you that red and yellow. Kind of, I think it's more portraying towards like a a Golden State type of look here, uh, you know, team memorabilia. 
And then we have uh, the other shop that we're going to be heading towards, which is this one, the Vine. And I'm pretty sure I should be able to find some nice pair of pants here at the Vine and, uh, you know, finish my outfit as we go. But I'll still show you the rest of the, rest of the store so you guys can get an in-depth look at all the different types of clothing that you're able to wear uh, and that the game comes. Like I said, it's vast, uh, vast, vast majority of the uh, amounts of different gear, not gear, but different clothing that you can actually get within the game. So these are the tops that you're able to pick from here. And as you see, these are not that expensive as the other place. The other place is pretty expensive, but there's more of a uh, lesser. You don't have to pay that much for this one. And you're still able to get I wonder, does this one come with any suits? No, no suits here, only sweaters. And, uh, of course, we do have glasses. And we want to rock some glasses as we rock and roll here. We're also able to pick up some bags. All right. We want to go ahead and pick up that bag. We're more than welcome to pick so. We're able to pick up hats. We want to wear uh, some sort of beanie, some sort of cap. So this one has some really chill ones um, as we progress through the game right there. And uh, get those out of the way. And then we got some pimped hats right there as well. And here we go. So then we're also able to go ahead and check out different sorts of shoes. I mean, we already picked up our shoes, but I do want to show you guys what these look like. You can definitely pick up some loafers or some drivers as, uh, you know, you get through here. And that is what they have available. Uh, anything I missed was the the jeans. So this has really cool cargo shorts uh, if you want to go with the whole cargo look. And then you also have the uh, the clay, the, yeah, the... And you also have the clay waters, which you're able to pick up. And you also have the uh, skinny jeans, which you want to rock some skinny jeans here. Probably going to rock some skinny jeans. Just want to go ahead and go with these real quick. Let's see which ones would go better with my suit here. So those are actually, they have some really, really cool jeans here, man. Trendy jeans. Okay, Starman. I don't know if I want to go with the Starman. I'm probably going to go with either, oh, I could rock with Cargos. Let's see. I, I don't know if I want to go blue or I'm probably going to go. I'm probably going to go blue. Let's see. Blue or these here. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick up these skinny jeans here. See what those look like right there on him. And uh, we should be good to go. And that pretty much, guys, wraps uh, not wraps around what my character will look like for this time around. But we're also going to go ahead and head over. So I completed one of my quest lines, which is get a pair of, uh, of jeans. Uh, but before that, before that, we're going to go ahead and show you guys what, uh, you know, the rest of the stores as we progress here before we progress on this storyline mission here. All right, so here we are at the Alcatraz shop, and I'm going to show you guys exactly what these look like. So they do have two, two pair of hats, different uh, for Alcatraz, and they have two tops, you know, kind of saying, oh, you know what, I visited Alcatraz, so I was like kind of like a... Uh, I came here for the visit, so I've been here. So that's what they have, guys, as far as clothes are concerned. Let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think overall in general with the way my character looks? If you guys like it or not, please let me know all that in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of the game so far as far as the different set of array of clothes you're able to get and obtain within the game. Don't forget, guys, if you want to stay up to date to all things Watch Dogs, make sure you keep it locked to this channel, and I will catch you guys on the next video.